Hi everyone, I'm Krista and welcome to my video on crystals for money and prosperity. So I'm going to show you many different stones that are really good to increase finances or help you to heal from financial loss and debt. Okay, so the first one I want to show you is a very beautiful piece of banded agate. So right there you can see some beautiful white bands running through this stone. And banded agate helps to bring financial stability. So if finances for you have been kind of unstable and it's been back and forth, then the stone will really help to bring that balance and stability that you need to grow your prosperity. Also, if you have suffered from any kind of financial loss, for instance, uh, bills being more expensive than they should, or your car breaks down unexpectedly and it's expensive to fix, or you've lost money on investments, Banded agate, if you work with it, will help to reverse those losses and will help you to gain the stability that you need to really grow your prosperity. So carrying it in your pocket, sleeping with it under your pillow, uh, working with it in that way can really help you. As you uh, wear it on your body, it uh, infuses your aura with that healing energy so that that energy flows into your life. Okay, the next one I will show you is a beautiful piece of amethyst so there it is this is actually chevron amethyst so you can see the purple amethyst color there with these bands of white which are called chevrons so you can work with chevron amethyst or just a regular piece of amethyst is fine and what amethyst does and what I really love about it it's a really good stone to carry in your purse or wallet or pocket to help curb overspending so if you have a tendency to overspend or you go shopping and then you come home with too much that you didn't anticipate and you realize you spent too much money on what you bought. Or if you uh, are working with salespeople and they are, you know, doing some add-on sales or selling you that warranty that you might not need. If they're trying to sell you those extras that you might not want or need, that carrying the amethyst will help you to not give in to those kinds of sales pressures and to have good boundaries and say no if it's not appropriate for you. So. That's what I love about amethyst. A uh, really good stone to take shopping with you. Um, also, it is a good stone for any kind of shopping addictions or spending addictions or even gambling. So that stone, if you work with it, uh, can also help to curb the urge to overspend or to gamble your money away. Okay. The next stone I want to show you is a very beautiful piece of sparkly pyrite. There we go. You can see it sparkling in the light. This is a very beautiful stone to really help grow your business. So if you are a business owner or your contractor or you're self-employed in some way, uh, working with that piece, carrying it in your pocket or putting it on your desk if that's where you do a lot of your work, that will help you to grow your business and grow your re re revenue and help to attract that flow of money to your business or clients to your business or customers to your business, okay? So a very good stone to work with in that way. The next one I'll show you, which is one of my personal favorites. This is a little piece of citrine, and you can see it's sparkling in the light there. The light is shining through it nicely. It's a very gentle, soft yellow color. Citrine is also a good stone that attracts prosperity. So if you uh, are a business owner and let's say you have a retail store or a coffee shop, somewhere where you have a cash register or let's say a uh, Visa debit machine, then you could have the citrine close to the register or close to your uh, debit machine, credit card machine. And what it can do is actually enhance sales and enhance the flow of prosperity to you. So very good stone to work with that. And it's an all purpose money stone that can also grow your prosperity in unexpected ways. So nice stone to work with there. The next one I'm going to show you is a piece of black jet. Now here it is, nice and shiny. Okay, now jet is not actually a stone, but rather it comes from uh, petrified trees or fossilized trees, so it's a very light stone. Uh, it's a grounding stone, which is really, really nice, and it also is a good stone to help you overcome from debt. So if you have accumulated debt, credit lines, credit card debt, or other forms of debt, then working with that stone, carrying it in your pocket or your wallet or sleeping with it underneath your pillow can give you the insights that you need to heal from the debt, pay it off, or find creative solutions of how to pay off that debt. So really good stone to work with there. 
The next one that I'm going to show you is a piece of rough jade. Okay, so this is it here. Nice, very gentle green color, very soft green. This is jadeite. You could also use nephrite jade, which is a darker piece of green jade. So either one is fine. And jade is considered a money luck stone. So carrying jade or even holding it in your hands and just rubbing it can increase your chances for good luck in the financial department. So maybe money comes to you unexpectedly or maybe you paid for something um, and you get a refund. So um, very good stone to bring those kinds of unexpected money uh, luck to you, okay? Now the next one I will show you is a very nice little piece of green chrysoprase, okay? So there it is. It's a small stone, but very powerful. Chrysoprase is good for um, job employment and bringing you good luck in job searches. So if you're searching for a new job and you haven't had a lot of good luck there or your resume has been turned down or you're just not getting the interviews that you had anticipated, working with green crystal praise can really help that. So if you are applying for a job and let's say you're going to give your resume to someone in person, you could hold that piece of paper, your resume, take the green crystal praise and rub it over the paper. So directly touching the paper, just rubbing it back and forth. And what the crystal praise does is infuse that good energy and good luck energy into your resume and then you give it to the recipient and more likely uh, to have the resume um, give off that energy that might help your resume uh, land an interview. So very good to work with it like that. If you're sending in the resume and putting it through the mail, put your resume in a envelope, seal the envelope and on the back of the envelope do the same thing. Rub the crystal praise right across the back of the envelope and then pop it in the mail and that will infuse your resume and the envelope with good energy and reduce the chance of it getting lost in the mail or getting lost in the shuffle, so really good there. And of course, in the electronic age, if you are applying for a job online and you're doing an online search, you find the job that you want and you're sending your resume uh, through the ethers, before you click the send button, you can hold the crystal praise up to the computer screen and you can infuse the crystal praise with an affirmation. So you could say something, may my resume be received and reviewed to land me a job interview or a call back or whatever that might be. Then hold your crystal praise up to the computer screen, say your affirmation, take a deep breath in, and then blow your affirmation into the stone, through the stone and into the screen. Just like that, okay? And then that sends the blessing and the affirmation along with your breath into the ethers of the internet and then click the send button and then send your resume and see what magic happens. Okay, so those are my top picks. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm Crystal Lynn, crystal healing therapist, as well as teacher of crystal classes. If you would like to find out more information on crystals, please like my Facebook page, or you can visit my website at crystalin.ca. Thank you so much for watching. Blessings to you and namaste.